Hi there, and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this is the second half of 20 Top Secrets for Loosening Up. This is the thing that I wrote so many years ago and I actually handed out to all my students. We all want to loosen up, and I continue to still want to loosen up. And number 11, here we go, number 11. We have 10 more to go. Number 11, no tiny brushes. What the heck are you gonna do with these things? You'll poke your eye out with these things. No tiny brushes. This is my tiny brush. Remember, loosen up. And also number 12 to loosen up, not tiny little coffee cups of water. Oh my gosh, big buckets of water with big, big orifices there. So you just ram it in there just like that. As opposed to your eye moving all over the place looking for your dirty water. I always have lots of water around. Um, I'm right-handed on the right-hand side. Let's move on. Number 13, think of the big picture. Think bigger and bolder. And have the courage to paint dangerously fast in the first couple of minutes. Not really slow, okay? And I always like to say, number 14, sporadic. That's when it's paint for a short period of time on one, then switch over to another painting and for a short period of time, and then another one a short period of time. And after a couple of minutes, the first one will have been dried enough. You can go back and still work fast and quick on that one. Uh, and you go back over and over and again. I never stay on one painting too, too long. Otherwise, I'll slow down. That's what I mean when I say, be sporadic. Number 15, here we go, coming around the stretch here. Have a sense of urgency, like, Wow, I gotta get do a lot of paintings. One of the great techniques that I like to use is I'll paint on many paintings all at the same time. That way I don't stay in one place too long. I try and give myself a time limit. Oh, I only have an hour to paint. How many can I do? Remember, these are your warm ups and a great way to get started and to stay loose. Number 16, stop at 90%. Don't give the viewer all the pieces of information. You know, they'll just look around and say, well, you did a good job. You want to invite the viewer into your painting by letting them complete the final 10%. That way they kind of get invited into the painting as opposed to you saying, look, I can paint everything the same way. So it makes it a little bit more interesting to look at and you've got to have a lot of courage to stop at 90%. Number 17, paint lots more, don't paint just the painting one time. Here I'm working on a whole crazy series called my Donut Series. You know, and there are no mistakes when you paint this way, just more opportunities. Remember, you paint to teach yourself to paint. That's why we paint lots of paintings over and over. You don't learn this stuff from reading a book. It's like a swimmer. You don't read a book on swimming and then go win the Olympics. You practice with lots and lots and lots. So as I always like to say, Paint lots more. Many are called, but few are chosen. Number 18. Hey, when your painting looks boring, it's probably boring to everybody else too. So your job is to unbore it. A good way to do that is, here's a simple one that I like to do. Let's take some transparent paint. This is the marigold. Marigold paint, this is acrylic paint. And here's a painting, it's kind of nice. It has dark light, dark light, but it's kind of boring. So let's unbore it taking a transparent paint. This is the Holbein Marigold. We all like this paint. Look what you can do. What a great way to get started into the next series of this painting. Here's another one. I want to show you this one. It's an abstract. It's like turning the lights on. It's like, where did this come from? Completely a different painting. Now here's something that's pretty cool. One more thing to unbore your painting, rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. It's a great way to remove paint. So you can start move, removing paint. It gives it kind of a hand rubbed look. This piece over here, I just got finished doing rubbing alcohol. Yay! Look at that. Gives it kind of a matina, I mean a patina look, doesn't it? There we go. Just does. Now one more fun thing to do. While that was still wet, with the paper towel and the isopropyl alcohol, I can bring it back down to the original white with the paper. Look at that. Look at that. So it's a lot less unbored. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. And number 19. Look at it. 
Get it up on the wall. Get it away from the place that you created it. You have too many distractions. And that's why you see lots of photographs of artists sitting in their studio just looking at their painting. Long looking. I call it long looking or slow seeing. It's the only way for you to critique your work. Is it your best? And you go down that whole list of what were my intentions? What's the title? All those things. Take a break every once in a while. Stop and get it up on the wall and look at it. It's amazing, but you'll see. And number 20, I always like to say, oh no, paint as if this was your last gig. I know this sounds pretty morbid, doesn't it? But it keeps me, keep paint and doing my best. I never want to have someone say, and that was his last painting, poor guy. You want someone to say, wow, that was his last painting. Now, I know it sounds kind of morbid, but be ready. Always have your paints out. I have a little push cart with all my paints ready to go at any moment. Thanks for watching the 20 top secrets for loosening up. Again, I've been doing this for about 25 years and I love sharing all this with you. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you on the next Bob Blast. And as a reminder, I have two one week workshops, can't wait, in August in Mendocino. Yay, one of the most beautiful places uh, to paint. Yeah, the headlands there, and we get to paint late at night, get there really early. I do some of my best work there because we're all painters and the camaraderie is fantastic. Great little town. It's a great place to be creative. I'll see you in August, those two weeks. Choose one or both of them. I'll see you then.